I am Father Louis Skirty, and it's my pleasure to introduce you, Father Francis Murray, from the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. Francis Mary. 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 Keeps on Mary. Correct. But I'll change that. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me who you are. So my name is Father Francis Mary. I'm originally a na from Buffalo, New York, and have been living here in Newark, New Jersey for about a year and a half. Okay. Hi, this is Father Lou again. I'm here with Father Francis Mary, as you met before, and he's going to tell us something about one aspect of their ministry here at the front door, basically. So, Francis, tell us about that. Sure. So, one of the parts of our life as Friars of the Renewal is that um, we make a choice to live in areas noted for poverty. And so, many times, a part of that includes, uh, in some way, uh, serving our neighbors, uh, mm -hmm. many of whom are in difficult situations, whether it's addiction or simply the simple need for food, right. sustenance of some sort. And so while we have a soup kitchen once a week, uh, we also have our just door kind of open to them uh, for a number of hours almost every right. day of the week to be able to serve coffee, sandwich, but a lot of it is also just the human contact that everybody desires. And um, so to be able to say a prayer with them, learn their names, get to know them as people, and the, the relationships develop over time. And these are regular people that come in every day? I mean, not necessarily. Many of them come every right, day. Right, not necessarily right. like they have a schedule or a number or anything like that. If they want to come, they come, and they're welcome. Okay, let's go to the front door. Okay. We're going to go to the front door, and on our way, we're going to pass a room filled with bags of food, and I'm going to ask Father Francis to explain what they're all about. Hey, Father Francis, could you explain what room we're in? So we turned this room into a classroom. So one of the, one of the ministries of Most Blessed Sacrament Friary, where, where we live here, is that it's the novitiate, okay. which takes little explanation. But the novitiate, simply put, is a year-long time of formation for men who are beginning the process of, of being a Franciscan. And so it involves many aspects of a man's life, but part of it is intellectual formation. So they have classes right. on everything from uh, the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, to different aspects of our constitutions, to also the human person, emotions, uh, how to live well uh, with our masculinity, as it may be. And so we have the, this room set up with a dry erase board and such things so that a Great. teacher can, can present some things and the guys can be seated here. Great. Mm -hmm. And what are all these bags of food that are lined up? So three times a year, we have a, a food handout for the people in our neighborhood at Thanksgiving, at Christmas, and at Easter. And so we're coming up on our oh, Easter okay. handout. Okay. And so we have a sign-up list. So we give out food for 200 families to be able to have Easter dinner. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the front door. We're at the front door. Father Francis will explain this ministry once again. So very simply, uh, we offer some sort of hospitality to, to our neighbors. And so um, we usually have sandwiches, which are sometimes made by school children, sometimes made by ourselves, sometimes made by our volunteers. Sandwiches, different kinds of food, sweets, coffee, something to drink. Mm. And so people can come by, uh, have a little something to eat. Sometimes they want to go, but a lot of times they just want to sit, be able to talk to a brother, um, share about an issue, maybe receive a prayer. Okay. And this is what Father, uh, that, is that Father Francis? Brother Francois. Francois. Mm -hmm. Okay, we met him before. So Brother Francois is one of our novices, and uh, the brothers take turns uh, sort of attending the front door and being able to be with the people and to serve. So, yeah. yeah. So he's speaking with a neighbor? Actually, he's, he's speaking with a guest of ours right now. Oh, and he's speaking French. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Brother, okay. Brother Francois is originally from France, uh, and he, he actually came here to the United States specifically to join our community. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's go out into the entrance. Uh, why don't you lead us? 
Hi guys, just ignore us. We're, we're doing a little interview. Enchanté. <laughs> okay, we're outside, don't fool. And this is a little foyer. And wh what is this area called? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's just our entryway. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's <laughs> so it That's doesn't great. have any particular name. Right. But it's just the it's the front gate where we're able to receive people. Excellent. And uh, and uh, folks are able to come in sometimes into the friary or or when it's nice out we just have people able to sit outside and just kind of enjoy the the warm weather. Right. And it was made as a as a cloister. So these wa these walls are real serious. That's exactly right. So originally it was a cloistered monastery. So the public when it was still a cloistered monastery could come to the door here enter here but they wouldn't be able to pass into any place beyond that right, right and right. so um obviously that's opened up now because we're not a cloistered community we right. we're, we're apostolic and so we can go out um and invite people in but originally that's exactly it so the walls were pretty much this was if you weren't a nun this is about as far as you got i was recently in um, the cloistered monastery of the poor clares in galway wow. and a friend of mine's uh cousin became a poor class so we were able to go in have breakfast but in the visiting room right and they showed us the line of demarcation mm -hmm. uh, that no one could go beyond except the sisters it's exactly right and so actually the place where we have our soup kitchen now is the area that visitors could have sit sat and visited with the sisters oh, so there used to be an iron grill there right 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 uh, that the sisters would sit on one side and the the visitors would sit on the other but now that's the place where we have our soup kitchen, where we invite the, our neighbors in to be able to have something to eat. And how often does the soup kitchen get served? Just on Tuesdays at this point. Okay. Um, so it's open once a day, or once a week. But again, we have this uh, on the other days of the week to be able to serve. It's just less people. Usually we have mm, probably between 70 and 100 people mm. who come to the soup kitchen on, uh, on a weekly basis. Okay. And who cooks? Uh, we take turns. Uh, so we have maybe approximately 20 to 30 volunteers that come every Tuesday. Okay. And uh, a brother's in charge of heading up the kitchen. But many times one of the volunteers cooks, they often bring the food to prepare. And then the volunteers along with the brothers serve. That's great. Yeah, it's really beautiful, wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, this is the outside area of what would have been the public area. And now it is just open and so, so well kept. Who keeps the garden? Mostly Brother Andre. So one of our brothers is uh, I, from Iowa originally and has a fantastic capacity at gardening and making things beautiful. Where, since you mentioned Iowa and since you mentioned France, where are some of the brothers from? You're from upstate. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Right. Um, but in our friary we have, so myself, Brother Francois from France, Brother Andre is from Iowa. We have um, another man from... Wyoming, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Wisconsin, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, really right. just from all over. And a, a couple of our men, the novices, so the newer men, one is from Poland and another one is from Russia, mm. and the rest are from the United States. But so it's, it's a pretty diverse. Right. Yeah. And, and they specifically came to be part of this house, this community. This community. Well, the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. So we have... We have houses in different places in the Northeast U.S., also a few in Europe, but, um, but yes, yeah, specifically to join our, our religious community. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go inside and okay. continue the tour. This is Father Lou with Father Francis Mary here at the Franciscan Friar of the Renewal. And the full name of this monastery, monastery is? is Most Blessed Sacrament Friary. And we'll be right back.